are some applications for which the performance of a proportional only or a proportional plus reset control can be improved by the addition of rate action. Let's rearrange our level control schematic so our level control is admitting water to tank A. It gravitates to tank B, and we manually set the rate of withdrawal from tank B. Now we will slightly open the manual valve. The level slowly falls in B. The controller opens the control valve and admits more water to A. Does this immediately affect the level in B? No, because the water has to flow from the control valve to tank A. Raise the level in tank A, and then flow through flume C to tank B before it has any effect on the level in tank B. This is known as dead time. Here is another example of dead time. The TRC maintains temperature at A by admitting hot water at B. But the water must flow from B to A before the TRC can detect the temperature change. Some control loops, having lags and dead time, can be better controlled if the control valve position is advanced beyond that caused by proportional action. Rate, derivative, or preact will perform this feat. These terms are synonymous. Rate or derivative response recognizes the speed at which the control point is leaving the set point. The reason being that the proportional output increases with distance from set point. Therefore, the rate valve is holding back an increasing amount of feedback to the proportional bellows. The output feedback into the proportional bellows is delayed. The nozzle stays nearer the flapper, and the output to the control valve is advanced. Rate action ceases when the pen stops moving. The reason for this is, a steady output pressure will equalize across the rate valve thus giving normal proportional response. Rate or derivative time is measured in minutes. A rate time of one minute means the controller output is advanced one minute ahead of what it would be with proportional action only. Curve A represents a proportional controller output change caused by the measurement moving away from the set point at a steady rate. Curve B shows what the output would be if the controller had rate action and the rate time set at one minute. At any point along curve B, the output is advanced by one minute ahead of the proportional only output. At time five minutes, the proportional output is nine PSI. A rate time of one minute gives the same nine PSI at time four minutes. Curves B, C, and D show the controller output with different rate times. Each is compared to the proportional output curve A. It is obvious that a low rate time denotes less rate action. Changing the percent proportional band changes the slope of the curve. 
For the same write time, the controller output is advanced further for the narrow band because the output change is greater due to proportional action. A controller may have proportional plus rate or it may have proportional plus rate and reset. Whereas the measurement or response curve for our hypothetical process may look this way without rate action. It can look this way with the addition of rate. By advancing the control valve action, the overshoot is reduced. Now work exercise three in your workbook. We have repeatedly used synonymous terms in this lesson. The reason for this is different manufacturers call the same response by different names. Gain equals the output change divided by the input change. If a two pound input change to a controller gives a four pound output change, the gain is two. The units could just as well be milliamps. Percent proportional band equals the input change divided by the output change times 100. If a two pound input change to a controller gives a four pound output change, the proportional band is set at 50%. have shown that a gain of 2 and 50% proportional band are the same. These formulas will convert proportional band to gain and vice versa. The controller has a gain of 4. What is the percent proportional band? From the formula, percent proportional band equals 100 divided by the gain. The answer is 25%. The proportional band of a controller is 200. What is the gain? The gain for 200% proportional band is 0 0.5. Sensitivity equals the output air change per inch of pen or measurement change. A sensitivity setting of 3 means the output air would change 3 psi for each inch of pen travel. If the sensitivity is set at 1,000, the pen only has to travel one thousandth of an inch to change the output air one pound. For a pneumatic controller, this is practically on-off control. Sensitivity is not widely used. We will not dwell on it. These six formulas will make any conversions between the three terms. Let's take one example. A controller has
has 100% proportional band? What is the equivalent gain and sensitivity? For 100% proportional band, the equivalent sensitivity is 3. The equivalent gain is 1. Reset and or integral action is measured in minutes per repeat or repeats per minute. 1 is the reciprocal of the other. Whether the term used is rate, derivative, or pre-act, the measurement is in minutes. As we have seen, all the controller modes have adjustments. What is the proper adjustment? The answer to this is called tuning. We will learn about tuning the controller in a subsequent lesson. Now work exercise four in your workbook.